the wind wake you up? It always does. How do you feel? I'm all right. Oh, don't get up, honey. I'm not sick, Bob. I'll make you. You don't party. have to. I'll be all right. Go on and read your paper. All right. Oh, sweetheart, look, if you don't feel well, please go back to bed. I'm just a little tired, that's all. I wish somebody would find a vaccine. It's all we're working on at the lab, Birch. Maybe you better not send her to school today. All right. You... You think you should go to work? I have to. Oh, Bob. Bob. I'm so... Frightened. Everything's going to be all right, sweetheart. the bone marrow theory in the head. This specimen shows a higher white count than when I put it on the slide. Those cells are still living, Dr. Mercer, off one another. There has to be an answer. You heard that all communications are ended outside the continental limits? Yes, I heard. That leaves it in our laps. So we keep trying. Where's Cortman? Well, he should be here by now. You two stay on this virus theory until I decide it's exhausted. Right. Yes, sir? Morgan will fill you in. All right, sir. And what did the great man of science have to say today? More of the usual? Oh, he's trying, Ben, just like the rest of us. And nothing works. The streets are swarming with truckloads of bodies that they're throwing into that god-awful pit. And the dedicated Dr. Mercer goes on with his plodding, unimaginative approach. You have a better idea? Maybe. At least it involves imagination. Ben, it's as simple as this. An unknown germ is being blown around the world. It's highly contagious and it's reached plague proportions. And you don't believe some of the dead have come back? Now let's get to work. And why are they burning the bodies? Why don't they bury them? Because it's the best known way to control the contagion, to keep the germ from spreading. That's what we've always believed at any rate. You prefer us to believe in vampires? If they exist, yes. There are stories being told, Bob. By people who are out of their minds with fear. Maybe. But there are too many to be just coincidental. Stories about people who have died and, and have come back. They're stories, Ben, stories. And why are the infected people always so tired in the daytime? Why can't they stand the sunlight? Why are they only seen at night? Come here. Look. I know it's look. Now, is this bacilli or isn't it? It doesn't alter. And this bacilli is found in the blood of every infected person, or isn't it? To show me germs is not to refute these stories, Bob. Point is, if there are vampires, they exist in spite of these germs. Come on, let's get to work. And until further notice, this station will continue its around-the-clock coverage of this national disaster. And now,
we switch you to the state capitol, where His Excellency, the governor, is speaking from the executive mansion. Further, I have, in conjunction with the federal government, declared this state to be a disaster area. The public health is dependent on bodies of the deceased being burned. You must notify the health department immediately if you have a plague victim in your home. Under no circumstances should you gather public. If you're the dire emergency that exists, I intend to... Anything new? Huh? No, nothing new. I said no. Verge, there's nothing they can do. But we can't just let her lie there. Well, this way she has a chance. If you call a doctor, he'll report it. Do you want that? Blindness is one of the symptoms. You're not to call a doctor under any circumstances. No one is to come into this house. Now remember that. Mommy. Mommy. Mommy, where are you? I've got to pick Ben Cortman up on the way to the... the lab. No one is to come into this house. Now remember that. Ben, we're late. Ben, what's the matter with you? Nothing, and I'm going to keep it that way. Ben, look, let's talk about this. There's nothing to talk about. You think I'm out of my mind. You laughed at me in my theory. You might be one of them. Ben, look, you're ill. You ought to see a doctor. No doctors. You take care of your life, I'll take care of mine. Now get away from here. You understand? Get away from here!
if you're looking